Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the ability to gather. I ask, Father, that you open the ears and the hearts of your children to hear your words. I thank you so much, Father God, for your understanding. Glory, glory to your name. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha. We thank you for your presence here today, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome, everyone. Get your Bibles ready because we are going to be reading Hebrews chapter 8. Hebrews chapter 8. And I would like to pull up here. I'm going to read you a summary right here of Hebrews chapter 8. Now, Hebrews chapter 8 focuses on the superiority of Jesus' priesthood and the new covenant established. All right, here's a summary of the chapter. The chapter is going to begin by pointing out that Jesus is the high priest who was seated at the right hand of God in heaven, serving in the true tabernacle that the Lord set up and not a man-made one. The earthly tabernacle and priesthood were merely copies and shadows of the heavenly reality that Jesus fulfills. Okay, now the chapter then quotes from the Old Testament prophet Jeremiah who spoke of a new covenant that God would make with his people. This new covenant would not be like the old one that was based on the law and often broken by the people, but it would be one in which God would write his laws on people's hearts and forgive their sins. The chapter emphasizes that this new covenant has been established by Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross. Jesus is the mediator of this new covenant, and it is based on better promises than the old one. Okay, now the chapter is going to conclude by stating that the old covenant will soon pass away. But the new covenant is eternal and will never be replaced. Therefore, the chapter urges us to hold fast, to hold fast to the faith in Jesus. Hallelujah. Who is the perfect high priest and mediator of the new covenant? Amen, amen, amen. So this is the summary of the chapter. Okay? Now we are going to get into reading Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 8. And this goes to verses 1 through 1 through 13. Hallelujah. It's going to be not that long. But we're going to start off here. Um, verse 1, the, chap- the title here is A More Excellent Ministry. Amen. All right, starting with verse 1. Now, of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have such an high priest who was set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched and not man. Verse 3 For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices whereof it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also 
to offer. For it, for if he were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law, who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, saith he, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed to thee in the mount. Verse 6 But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. Amen. Going on to verse 7 here, and the title here is, The Need for a New Covenant. The Need for a New Covenant. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Going on to verse 10 here. 10 to 13, we're going to take it on home. And the title here is Laws Written in Their Hearts. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. Also, they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest for i will be more for i will be merciful for i will be merciful to their unrighteousness to their unrighteousness hallelujah glory to god and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. In that he saith a new covenant, a new covenant he hath made, the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we just read the summary previously. And from the summary, we read Hebrews chapter 8 from the KJV. Okay, I am going to read here um, the ERV, easy to read version, um, to break it down a little bit more. Um, so that um, if you didn't get the summary or the KJV, some may get it all, but some may not. So we're going to read it from the ERV as well for more clarity. Starting with verse 1 here, the ERV. The title here is Jesus, our High Priest. Here is the point of what we are saying. We have a high priest like that who sits on the right side of God's throne in heaven. Our high priest serves in, most, in the most holy place. He serves in the true place of worship that was made by God, 
not by anyone here on earth. Every high priest has the work of offering gifts and sacrifices to God. So our high priest must also offer something to God. If our high priest were now living on earth, he would not be a priest. I say this because there are already priests here who follow the law by offering gifts to God. The work that these priests do is really only a copy and a shadow of what is in heaven. That is why God warned Moses when he was ready to build the holy tent. Be sure to make everything exactly like the pattern I showed you on the mountain. But the work that has been given to Jesus is much greater than the work that was given to those priests. In the same way, the new agreement that Jesus brought from God to his people is much greater than the old one. And the new agreement is based on better promises. Verse 7. If there was nothing wrong with the first agreement, then there would be no need for a second agreement. But God found something wrong with the people. He said, The time is coming, says the Lord, when I will give a new agreement to the people of Israel and to the people of Judah. It will not be like the agreement that I gave to their fathers, that is the agreement I gave when I took them by the hand and led them out of Egypt. They did not continue following the agreement I gave them. And I turned away from them, says the Lord. This is the new agreement I will give the people of Israel. I will give this agreement in the future, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds, and I will write my laws on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people. Never again will anyone have to teach their neighbors or their family to know the Lord. All people, the greatest and the least important, will know me. And I will forgive the wrongs that they have done, and I will not remember their sins. God called this a new agreement. So he made the first agreement old, and anything that is old and useless is ready to disappear. Amen. All right, all right. So we have the explanation here. We have um, the divine words here. And um, again, for more clarity, that was the ERV. And um, we went into explaining um, exactly what the chapter is all about. All about that new covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God gave His only Son, His only begotten Son, who took away our sins, our iniquities. And um, we just want to just... Thank the Heavenly Father for all that He has done, for everything, for the sacrifice of His Son. Amen, amen. I encourage you to read this chapter again, and I encourage you to read up, um, because next time we get together, we're going to be reading Hebrews chapter 9, verses 1 through 28 so we're moving right along here we're moving right along here so we have that new covenant and God is is put it in our hearts and and he's 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 put it on our minds and our hearts and everything and so the old covenant with the sacrifices and things did not work so Jesus, he sacrificed his one and only son. He died and rose again on the cross 
for our sins. And the scriptures tell us to love God with all our heart, soul, and mind. And then love our neighbor as ourselves. So we are to have that love. We have that salvation package. And we have that mediator, our Lord and our Savior, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. So I hope and I pray that your name is on that book of life. That you have took hold, took hold of what Jesus came here for. Hallelujah. I hope and pray that you have. And so, um, right now, you can ask Jesus Christ to come into your life as your Lord and Savior right now. Repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, I know that you are the Son of God. And that you died and you rose again for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask right now that you come into my life as my Lord and as my Savior. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. In your mighty name, Jesus, I pray this prayer. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome, welcome to the kingdom of God. There's so much joy in heaven among the angels when someone turns their life over. And your name is added on the books, on the books of life. Amen, hallelujah glory to God and just remember you're never alone God is going to lead you he's going to guide you in all the right directions and give you all the correct and right connections amen so if you don't have a place to worship um, or if you do that's beautiful if you don't get in prayer with God stay in prayer every single day and he's going to lead you again to in the right direction and to the right connections amen amen if you have um any questions or comments or concerns you can go over to my blog i have the link in in my description and um put your name and email address in and there's a box there um, where you can ask any question that you would like any comments or anything and even if you want prayer requests, be sure to add that as well. That's over in my blog. And again, I'll put that link in the description. Be sure to follow me on any of my social media sites. And I'll be sure to follow you back. I just really appreciate you all. And I just thank you all for being here. Hallelujah. And this is the Blessings Ministry Receive your blessings. Receive your healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be sure to pray for me. And I'll be praying for you as well. Again, just follow me on any of my social media sites. I'll be sure to follow you back. Download the shows. Feel free. I encourage you to download the shows. Again, as I always say, as you know, if you've been listening to me for a while... But this is internet radio, and sometimes things don't always stay on forever. So if you download the shows, you'll have them all the time um, in your library um, for your listening uh, pleasure at any time um, that you wish to listen um, to the podcast again. So this is it, and... um, Again, I just want to thank you all for your listening contributions. And um, just stay connected. Just stay connected. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father God, we just thank you, Father God, that you are in the midst of us today, that you have revealed your love. And, and and loved on us today, Father God, that your Holy Spirit is in the midst, Father God, that healing, healing is right here, Father God. Hallelujah, glory, glory. Father God, your desire is for no one to be ill, no one to be sick, no one 
any iniquities or anything, Father God. May they pray to you and may all be washed away, Father God. May they put their hand on any pain, any sick, any pain in their body that they're feeling. Put their hand on that pain right now and may they be healed right now in the name of Jesus. We know that your son walked this earth, Father God, and he performed many miracles. He healed, Father God, the sick. Father God, we know that the dead was raised. The blind opened their eyes. The the ones that could not hear, they were able to hear again. A lot of sicknesses and diseases, Father God, were gone, were cured. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for sending your son on this earth and performing the many, many miracles that he did, healing everyone, Father God, that he could. And we thank you, Father God, for him saving the world, giving us another chance at life, Father God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, for your spirit. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to your name. We thank you, Father, and we honor you today. We honor you forever. We give you all the honor, praise, and glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this prayer. Amen. All right, all right, all right, all right. Glory, glory, glory. I feel the spirit of the Lord. It's just so wonderful. I just really have a good time here with you all. And um, I love you so much. I love you so much in the spirit. And um, I just feel so connected to you. I just feel just feel the Holy Spirit. And so I just want to um, just thank you all. And um, I want you all to um, spread the word when you go among the people. Um, just let your Holy Spirit flow among the people. And um, just whenever you get a chance, let people know how good God has been to you. Let people know how good God has been to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, I have another podcast here. Um, I think, yeah, the name is called Stay, in, and Stay Encouraged here on Spreaker. Um, it's very... I spoke about it in my last podcast. It's very, um, it's not formal. Um, I don't open or close with a prayer or anything, but, and, um, it's not, um, anything that comes on like weekly or anything. I don't, I don't do it weekly, but when the Lord puts it on my heart to come and say something, I do. So I just encourage you, um, I, it should be on there by now. I went on there and I, I had a dream the other day and, um, it's some things on there that we can all learn from that dream. So, uh, go on there and, um, check that out and, um, it's the Stay Encouraged podcast. I'll try to put a link, or a link should be there in the description, wherever, whatever platform you're listening on, a link should be there in the description um, to stay encouraged uh, podcast. So go ahead and listen to that. It's a couple minutes there. And um, listen to the other ones as well. Listen to the other ones as well. So I just want to thank you. And, um, uh, Pray for the people in Israel, all the things that are going on in Israel. Um, pray for the people in Mississippi. Wow. Um, was it a Category 4 or something? A big? Was it a hurricane, tornado, hurricane or something? It just ripped through um, uh, oh, miles and miles and miles of uh, Mississippi. A lot of people have lost their homes or just, just completely gone. Everything. They showed one man just just walking the road, and the only thing that he had left was he had some things in a suitcase, and that was it. No car, no transportation, no anything. And so everything shot down. There's no electricity. There's no anything. So pray for those people. Hallelujah. I know... Um, 
when tornadoes and disasters would happen, I could always go on uh, Periscope. That's one thing I miss about Periscope. I could always go on Periscope and um, there were people always doing a live all the time. And when things would happen, individual people would be on and everything. And um, you could personally, they would give their cash app or something if you wanted to give and really help people. And actually people really in need that needed something to eat or help with a couple nights with hotel stay. And you could really um, give to that actual person or that family. And a lot of people would show you, you know, thank you all, you know, um, there were homeless people there and they would ask, you know, can you give me a couple coins to get something to eat? And they would actually show you that, you know, where they were going to McDonald's or whatever to get something to eat or, you know, they would say, well, this is my last night here. Can you all just pay for me to have another night in the hotel and things like that? And a lot of people would be helping the homeless and everything on Periscope. So I really do miss Periscope. Um, I went on Instagram. I wanted to see, I don't think Instagram has a live. I'm not for sure, but I don't think so. Went on Instagram and just saw um, videos and um, nothing live no one talking but just showing the pictures of, of things happening and um, I went on was it Inst it's Instagram and uh, went on TikTok and um, no one there was live talking but really Periscope was really um, you could reach people all over the world and I really do miss that but a lot of things happen or whatever it was and um, Periscope is gone. So, um, yeah. And the things that were on the news, on the channels, on the news here, there's the same videos and things that I noticed that were on TikTok. So I said, hmm, did the news go on TikTok and um, <laughs> get these videos? Because, yeah, people were posting on TikTok. And, like I said, the same um, um, news clips, the, the, the same clips on TikTok, the news was were playing, was playing those, um, those little clips off of TikTok. So, I said, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, but um, just thought I'd just bring that up. But just pray for everybody. And, um. Maybe I'll go and check YouTube. Somebody may be on there talking or speaking live or something too. But, you know, it's always kind of good to reach out to individual people as well. Also get help, you know, if you can donate to the organizations and things like that. Then make sure that people have, um, you know, can have food, clothing, and shelter and things like that. And um, if you can really go on ground and volunteer that's great as well so we just lift them up in prayer in mississippi and um, our children too that are in the schools and there's shootings going on wow i mean elementary all the way up to college every time you look around the kids are getting uh, shot and killed in the schools i can't remember what city it was but um Wow, just recently, oh wow, I can't remember where it was now, but if you Google it, you'll probably know. But there were, um, a 28-year-old came in a um, Christian school and um, I think had two, two, some type of guns and, a, and a, a, two rifles and a gun or something, three, three different types of artillery. 28 year old and they said they think that this young lady was um used to go to the christian it was christian um school and so that 28 year old she came in and she shot and killed from what i heard on the news three nine-year-old children three nine-year-old children lost their lives and three people in their 60s and that's terrible. Three nine-year-olds and three people in their 60s. And so when the police got there and everything, um, she was shot and killed as well. 
So the 28-year-old shooter, she also lost her life as well. So it's just so much going on. Little children getting killed in school. Then there was a, 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 a young elementary boy that just was he six years old or something just took the gun and just shot it shot the hand of his teacher and it it's just devastating come to school with a gun and and it's just just pray for everybody just pray for our children in in these schools and everything and i said if i had a small child today i don't know i think i would just homeschool homeschool my child even though things happen and but I would feel better if I just homeschooled my child the way things are going today. But anyway, we're gonna uplift each other, we're gonna stay in prayer and we're gonna pray for everyone and continue to pray. Um I'll pray for you, you pray for me as well and the conditions as well. So I just want to thank you for tuning, tuning in and um just leave you with a good note that the Lord loves you and um, just keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on staying in prayer. Keep on letting the Holy Spirit fill you and uplift you. And um, a special blessing to you and your family members as well. So take care and next time we'll meet next time. But I love you all and go in peace.